If you've talked about radians in school, then you've probably heard a very simple way to convert from radians to degrees. Most radian measures are going to have some sort of pi involved, and basically what I learned is replace the pi with 180 and then reduce. So in this case, that would be 16 times 180 over 15. And we have a calculator, so none of this arithmetic is gonna be difficult. So 16 times 180 is 2,880 divided by 15 is 192, and that is the answer. So that's probably the fastest way to do it, but I don't know, for me, um, sometimes I just get a little nervous with these conversions because sometimes then there's a formula to go back to go from degrees into radians and I, I just my brain kind of gets them confused so the way that I do it to be a little bit more certain is I use a ratio because the SAT formula reference chart uh, that's available on every math section for the test is going to tell you that there are both um, 360 degrees in a circle and two pi radians in a circle uh, or in a full, yeah, full angle, full uh, way round. So basically we can use that as a proportion because the relationship is gonna be consistent. So if we have, um, in fact, let me, let me flip this so it's a little easier on my brain. Um, uh, you know what, no, let's keep it. Um, if we have 16 pi over 15 radians, we can put that down here. And so it's a little annoying because we have um, a fraction within a fraction, but basically what we're saying is, okay, the relationship is gonna be preserved. So the number of degrees are on the top of both fractions and the number of radians are on the bottom. So I'm using the, the, the conversion that they just give me on every test. I don't have to memorize it, it's given to me. And then I'm using the fact that I don't know the number of degrees, so that's my X, and then the radians are given to me. And now it's just a matter of solving this ratio. So you could do it a lot of different ways. I guess the, the fastest way for me is I am going to, um, let's do, bo multiply both sides by 16 pi over five. So 16 pi over five. And a lot of very convenient things are gonna happen. The fives, or the, uh, the pies will cancel. I'm gonna cancel that two with this um, 16 to make it an eight. I'm gonna cancel the, well now I guess I can just use the calculator. Let's do eight times 360. Eight times 360 is 2880 and divided by uh, 15. Oop, see, I lost something here. That's why you show your work, guys. It's not over five, it's over 15. Divided by 15 is equal to 192. There we go. So same answer. And I think that is a little bit more kind of time consuming, that method, but it does save you in case you happen to forget the formulas that you need to use, you have this other method that just uses the information that's given to you on the, on the reference chart. So there's really no excuse for getting a question like this wrong because they give you all the information you need. So make sure for any geometry question, if you're confused, go back to that reference chart. You might be able to kind of get nudged in the right direction just based on the information they give you.